Denmark has played quite a big role, especially with Zentropa and Last One Trier in last two decades in terms of reinventing cinema, the way dogma reinvented a lot of things. Now, dogma as a movement has almost died, but it, it gave rise to a whole lot of cinema that's happening today where filmmakers have become independent with the digital cameras. They go and shoot things as they are. Dogma did give rise to a whole lot of modern filmmaking. Abrilanto, Mendonza and all those filmmakers, they've come somewhere, come from there, from dogma. Letting things be and, you know, so it has played quite a big role. The good thing that I, I experienced here is when last time I came here, I came to Cinematech. And the way Cinematech works in producing short films and finding new voices, new filmmakers. And they have lots of in-house producers who do that when I interacted with them, which was very good. The kind of film culture that is there with CPH picks and docs and a whole lot of festivals that are around here, where Cinematech again plays a very big role. Those are things that back home we don't see in India much. And that gives rise to a kind of a culture and a kind of a healthy atmosphere where new young voices can find themselves. There's a lot of government support. Where Denmark lacks compared to India is because in India, producer raising money and making a film is far more easier than it is in Denmark. Because we go out, we make films, we make so many films and we experiment a lot and there's an audience that watches cinema in the theatres and not waits for it on television. So film becomes self-sustaining. That's missing in Denmark. Because the day the film becomes self-sustaining, a lot of a lot of individuals, high net worth individuals, can come in and start producing films. Because it does not seem like a business that gives returns, so a lot of people don't invest in it. And it's always left to the government to do it. And that's where India probably scores more than Denmark. But the quality of films, the culture that it breeds here with a center like this, Cinematech, that's something that's missing in India. For filmmakers coming here, spending a lot of time at Cinematech, at the festivals here, a filmmaker can take a lot back home. And there's a definitive audience for cinema. They're not probably as large in number as it is in India, but for the kind of cinema that we are looking at, there's a definitive audience which is very interactive, which is, which is very good for us filmmakers. And now, there's a lot of Scandinavian thrillers that's coming out, which is also good for the business. And through these thrillers and through these Scandinavian thrillers, one can find various sources of money that can be used to do the other kind of cinema as well. So that's there's one that's very good development because because of those thrillers, there's a lot of influx of the audience. I think in this year, Denmark, in Denmark, more people have gone to theatres to watch films than in previous years. And that's always good for the film business.